Hi, I'm Bill Sheehy from Latin American Masters Gallery in Los Angeles, California. And the piece that we're looking at is by Francisco Toledo, born in 1940. Uh, he passed away in 2019. Toledo is widely regarded as Mexico's most important artist of the last five decades. And among other things, he was famous for his invention of a um, animal iconography um, that makes one of the great contributions to the visual, visual culture of the last half century. Um, let's take a second now and look at the piece and then I'll talk about it. As you look at the piece, uh, what you see is there are actually two fish here, uh, one sort of swimming on top of the other. You have the head of the fish on my side of the, comp on, of, of the painting, uh, and then he, right in back of him, there's the body of another fish swimming the other way. The space is very compressed, one fish on top of the other, so it's almost hard to, to distinguish them as being two rather than one animal. Uh, Toledo has also chosen to um, further compress the composition rather than using the length of the, um, of the, of the paper that it's uh, painted on, he's taken the uh, narrow vertical expanse and shoved those figures into that area. Surrounding the work, you have these interesting uh, concentric patterns, very decorative, and then in the area between the, um, these concentric patterns, you have this sort of soft uh, blue-gray atmosphere, which um, might easily be interpreted as the water itself, the area between, the, the space between the fish and this patterning. So those are, there's also a lot of very rich uh, texture in this piece, which is difficult to see on camera. But in person, you'd see it's a very tactile piece as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but let's talk about the content first, what's actually going on here. I said two fish, but as you look carefully at the piece, what you notice is that the, the fish themselves have this wrapping of um, fishing line around their bodies. And you can see the fishing lines coming from uh, the right-hand side down into the open mouth of one of the fish, and then the line itself is wrapped around the figures. Um, that's interesting. Uh, all of a sudden we have a theme going, which is, a, depending on how you want to look at it, is either about entrapment, uh, that these living things are being um, wrapped in something. Nobody really wants to be tied down in life, so there's that. Uh, but in a, um, in a broader sense, uh, in, an, in an ecological sense, uh, what Toledo is really talking about is uh, overfishing and the fragility of nature. So in that context, uh, Toledo was a genius at associative logic. Those sort of concentric patterns that he's used to sort of enliven the composition become nets. And um, in that context, the joke really is that the ocean has more nets in it than it does fish. So T Toledo is finding a way uh, to make uh, a work that is very related to his own vision, his own um, animal iconography. And he's finding a way to use those animals to talk about really what are major um, environmental issues in the world today. Uh, the destruction of natural habitat, the overfishing of our oceans. Uh, these are the themes that are really expressed in a work like this. Uh, going back now to the highly textured uh, nature of the work, um, that's interesting because Toledo was also famous for blending um, um, different media in his work. And in this case, what Toledo has done is he has used engraving tools to carve into the surface of the paper, and then he's painted on top of that creating work which also uh, is, in a sense, a dialogue between uh, the techniques that we no normally associate with printmaking, engraving, and painting. So there's, there's a sort of 
melding of worlds here, a unifying of media, which is an expression of a larger a view that sees the world itself as interconnected. If you've enjoyed this brief conversation on Francisco Toledo, please visit our website and you can learn more about this great um, modern artist. Thank you.